stars are singing. Can you hear them? Gwyn, your father was looking for you to help with the cows. Sorry. Very touchy he was. Sorry. Stargazing again. Have you heard the stars sing, Mum? <laughs> no, I haven't. Lay the table for me, my love. There's been an ache in this house since your sister went. Nine. You need help. Nine years old today. I've brought you your birthday presents. Oh, thanks, Nine. Yes, very interesting things, Nine. Time to find out if you are a magician, Gwydion Gwyn. Oh, come off it, Nine. A magician? Time to remember your ancestors, Math, Lord of Gwyneth, and his nephews, Gwydion and Gilveithwy. Who? The magician's boy. Oh. They lived here on these mountains a thousand years ago, and they could do anything they wanted. They could turn men into eagles and soldiers into dust. They could make dreams come true. And so, perhaps, could you. If you have inherited the power of Gwydion, you can use it to get your heart's desire. I don't think I'll stay for tea. <laughs> but we've only just had breakfast now. Nevertheless, Give them to the wind, Gwydion Gwyn. One by one, give your gifts to the wind. Do you see? What's she on about? For a magician. Oh! Gwen, what are you doing dreaming up there? Have you fed the chickens yet? Is it Saturday? You got work to do, boy. Happy birthday, Gwen. Mum! I thought you'd forgotten. Not me. I missed your breakfast time. Did the chickens for your special birthday present. Oh, Mum, you're brilliant. Hand this. It's got stars all over. For the stargazer. And it shows the faces of the moon. Oh, thanks, ma'am. It's from Dad as well. Oh, yes, of course. It's a sad day for him. Sad day for us all. It's four years today that Bethan went. Yes. And he still blames me. No. Yes, he does. Because I asked her to fetch my black the stone. Hush now. Was that your grandmother I heard just now? Yes. And 
she gave me such a strange present. Look. What's she on about now? Oh, I wish she wouldn't. It's got no ears, no tail. Why give me a broken horse? Goodness knows. Oh, it's faint. It's in Welsh. Dim Hon. Yeah, I think that's what it says. Not this. What does it mean, ma'am? Why give me something if I'm not to use it? Oh, I never know why Nine does things. Is she a witch? Quinn! Time to see if I'm a magician, she said. Oh, don't take any notice. Like my ancestors. She's getting old and she dreams. But her hair is dark, as dark as mine. Maybe, but her eyes aren't too good. They don't see things straight always. Bethans, isn't it? It disappeared with her. She must have been wearing it. The police didn't find anything. Well, if Nine found it, why didn't she tell anyone? You can smell the roses, ma'am. She used to dry them and put them in her drawer. Don't talk about Bethan now. But, Mum, we should. If we talk about her, maybe she'll come back. Quinn, the police searched everywhere. And it was four years ago. How can she come back? I've asked Ali Lloyd to come and have tea with us. Great. The birthday tea. Tell me you had a proper one. Not like... Not like other years. Great. How much longer have I got to wait for you? Oh, Ava. Bethan. You left your scarf for night to find. Did you mean to come back? Birthday. But you've already given me presents, Nine. Well, don't look a gift horse in the mouth. Who are your friends, then? You know them, Nine. We're the Lloyds. I'm Alan, and these are the twins. Don't you know your neighbours, Nine? Well, I wouldn't know that one. He looks a bit like your father. <laughs> <laughs> Glennis, put some music on. Oh, I've put the record player away. We haven't used it since. Well, time to use it now, then. I haven't got anywhere to plug it in. Go to the light, man. It's getting dark. We need the light. You've got candles, haven't you? Yeah. Come on, Gwyn. Got matches? You do those. Leave me one. Yep. Now, what do we have? I know. All right, Glynis? Uh, there you are. Right. You know this? My game is the looking for fun. I'll quit the blues for more. About time to. <laughs> I'm starving. Let's see. Can you sit on the end? Can I sit on the end?
Close the candles out. Celebrating, are you? Yes, I hope we are. What then? Gwyn's birthday, and you're just in time. Time for nothing. There's candles wasting on the kitchen, chairs on the floor, and look at this mess. Sit down, Ivor Griffiths, you miserable man, and celebrate your son's birthday. Miserable? Is it? To be remembering my daughter who's gone? My daughter who went on this day four years ago? That's enough, Ivor. We remember Bethan as well as you do. And we've mourned this day every year. We've had enough of it. It's Gwyn's turn now. Come on, Edwards. Don't go. So I keep it for another day. Come on now. That was cruel. How could you do such a thing? I've done nothing. He's the one. My Bethan is lost because of him. No, it's his fault she went out into the storm that night and it's his fault she never came back. Remember the gifts, Gwydion Gwyn. Remember Math Lord of Gwyneth. Remember Gwydion. Remember Gilvethui. And give your gifts to the wind. Are you being funny, Nine? This is no game I'm playing, Gwydion Gwyn. Once in every seven generations, the power returns. Your father never had it, nor did mine. Let's find out who you are. The magicians. Didn't one of them, uh, Gwydion, have a ship made of seaweed? Seaweed? Yes, I'm sure it was Gwydion. That's nine. Math, Lord of Gwyneth, Gwydion, and Faithui. And it was Gwydion who made the ship. Yes, I remember from school. My name. Oh, that's what you were christened. Nine wanted it. Yes, well, your dad never liked it. Not when he thought where he came from, so we called you Quinn. What did you do in that gym? Get on with your work, Quinn, and stop flustering your mother. I'm not flustered, love. Don't argue and don't defend the boy. Look. It's beginning to blow. Blow, wind, blow. Blow, wind. you under the scarf. What is it you want me to do? Great! Come back here. There's work to do. Thanks, Wim. Give me a lap. Give it to the wind, Gwydion Gwyn. For their Gwynt. Snow! Math! Lord of Gwyneth! Gwydion! And Gilfaithoi! Gwyneth! Gwydion! And Gilfaithoi! 
Come in now. You won't get any tea. Doing out there. Can you even open the door now? My hands are cold. Ah, and it's too cold too. Where were you? You were needed. That cock goes out again. I can't get in, my own. Be no Christmas dinner if he doesn't stay put. Now wash your hands and have your tea. No, Dad, I've just. Don't gotta go... you know, Dad? Me. It's just that I've got to go upstairs for some. Quinn. open so you can breathe. Queen, I was worried. I rang the Lloyds. You weren't there. No. Not could be much away, are you? Good trying to catch that cockerel in the dark. You need to be up early in the morning. No trouble waking if the cockerel's out. Talk about a bit. Let them know I'm still here. Not much growing, though. Well, there's tattoos. Hey, watch it, Nine. I'll get into trouble now. <laughs> Should have worn your boots. Well, have you got news for me? Are you a magician? Let's go inside, Nine. Can't talk out here. We leave the plants to sleep and we'll make a cup of tea. with nettle tea. Nine? Look at this. Oh! I thought of you yesterday. All oh, that wind. It was the brooch, Nine. I gave it to the wind on the mountaintop. And this came back. So, you are a magician. Well, did I make it, Nine? It seems to have come from a long way off. You called it. You brought it here. You did call. Like you said, I called the names into the wind, and then it started to snow. Huge flakes. And when I got home, this. Oh. Quite silver. 
call her Arianwen. Should I tell about her? No, never, never. No one would understand. She has come from another world to bring you closer to the thing you want. I want my sister to come back. I want things to be like they were before Bethan went. This is only the beginning, Gwydion Gwyn. You'll be alone, Mike. A magician can achieve his heart's desire if he truly wishes it. But he will always be alone. Talking to? Where were you sitting in the dark? Oh, don't stare at me like that, Gwen. Say something. You frightened me for a bit, then. I'd have been here, but I wanted to pickle these tomatoes. I didn't have enough sugar, so uh, I ran down the lines to borrow some. Ripen quite well, you said. I remember my mum. A great one for pickling. We used to help with the onions when we were children. We used to cry buckets. Dad, stop touching hey. there. My matchbox on the chair. It mustn't be crushed. What's so special about a matchbox? There's an insect in it for school. Oh, there it is on the floor. Oh. It's gone. What sort of insect? Gwen, I'll help you look. A special spider. Spider? I just clean this out from top to bottom and you bring a spider in to make more cobwebs. You know I can't stand cobwebs. There's nothing wrong with spiders. They catch that, that, That's enough. And when you find your special spider, you just keep it in that box. Because if I see it running loose, I'll squash it like that. School or no school. You mean, old man, I hate you sometimes. Gwen. Ariane, Gwen. You got me into right trouble just now. Hey. I left the whistle under the scarf. What do you want me to do? Blow the whistle? It's cracked. It won't blow properly.
It's a damn funny sort of wind. Up here. Just one man. Hey, can you singing? Who would you read you on? No man. What is it then? What's that? Uh, it's a pipe. Now give it to me. Oh, is that all? Now, try and get some sleep. I'll never be up in time to catch the bus in the morning. I'll be up now. It must be the light singing. They're up till all hours. It'll be the cold. Funny how Sam travels in the cold. Good night, Quinn. Magician. What? A magician. A magician. You're mad, Queen Griffiths. You're mad. 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 Magician. Did you say magician? Right. 
Nine said I'm called after him. Your Nine's a bit batty, isn't she? She's not batty. She's got more books than the library. And she knew about me. I should hope so. She's your grandma. No, I mean about me being a magician. Now I know she's batty, and you too. Listen, will you? Things happened last night. Well, I think I made them happen. Saw my sister, Beth Ann, or someone like her. You were dreaming, you twit. No, I saw these things. Come off it. Nine said that Math and Gwydion were my ancestors. <laughs> All that lot are in stories. They're not real people. Really, Alan? I can make the wind come. I saw another planet last night. In my room. It was all white. The buildings were white. And there was a big tower with a silver bell. It rang. And I heard singing from a pipe that came on the wind. You are mad. Please, Nisa. And you're a liar. No one can see what's on planets. Not close. They're billions of miles away. You're a liar. A rotten liar. Alan! Alan! Liar! Liar! Staying here. This is my castle. I have to defend it. You're talking in riddles again. Are you pretending to be a princess? Maybe. Am I not beautiful? Oh, brilliant. <laughs> Listen, Nine, I had something else from the wind last night. Yes. A silver pipe. Oh. There were voices in it from far away. Even when men whispered, Math could hear them. He could hear voices beyond mortal ear. The pipe is from Math. And nine, Ariane went spun a web, and something happened in it. What did you see in the web? And John Gwyn? I saw a white city rising through the clouds. There was a tall white tower and a belfry of carved ice. I heard a silver bell and saw lots of children running around. One of them waved to me. Oh, Gwydion, Gwyn, you have almost achieved your heart's desire. Hang on, Nine. Maybe I am a magician, but I'm not strong yet. I mean, I don't know if these things happen to me because I have the power, or if they could happen to anyone. You've forgotten the legends. Oh, you poor boy. I used to read them to you long ago, but your father stopped all that when Bethan went. He stopped all the fun and joy, but he couldn't stop you. Because now you are who you are. Now come here. I'm going to read you something. It's a very old Welsh. I can't understand that. You will, one day. Here we are. At dawn, rose Gwydion the magician before the cock crowed, and he summoned to him his power and his magic. And, and he went to the sea, and there he found dulse and seaweed. Dulse? And seaweed, and he held it close, and he spoke to it. Then he cast it out over the sea, and there appeared the most marvellous ship. Now, in a minute, you will understand your part in this. Here we are. Then, Gwydion's son subdued the land and ruled over it prosperously, and thereafter he became known as Lord over Gwynedd. 
Well? What do you mean, well? I don't get it. That Lord of Gwyneth was your ancestor, and so it follows was Gwydion the Magician. But they're in a story nine. They're not real people. Not real? Not real? They are your ancestors. Well, how do you know? My great-great-grandmother told me. She was 101 years old, and I was 10. And I believed her. Well, how did she know? She was a witch. You're joking. No, I am not joking. And you are the first person I have ever told. It was she gave me the seaweed and the brooch and the whistle. Keep them, for you know who, she said. And I did know who. What about the broken horse? She... I'm afraid of that horse. I tried to burn it once, and I couldn't. It was still there when the fire died, all black and grinning at me. It's a dreadful thing, that horse, and my great-great-grandmother thought so, too. It was she tied on the label, Dim Hon. Not this. That's right. It must never be used. Never. You keep it locked up tight, tight, tight. It's old and it's... It's... It's evil. What about the yellow scarf? She didn't give you that. No. No, that was my idea. I found it on the mountain the morning after Bethan went. I kept it for you. Why for me? I knew you'd need it. Are you a witch, Nine? No. The power didn't come to me. Well, how do you know it's come to me? I knew the day you were born. It was All Hallows' Day, the beginning of the Celtic New Year. A brilliant dawn, all the birds in the air singing. Your father came flying down the lane to fetch me, and when we got up to the farm, there you were. I took one look at your eyes, so bright, and I knew. And little Betha knew, too. She was a strange one, so knowing. Wild, hardly of this world. But, oh, she loved you. And your father, so proud. Doesn't even like me now. No. And that is what we have to change, isn't it? I don't know. I don't know. How can a spider and a pipe help me? And what's this other world to do with Bethan? I just had an argument with my best friend. He didn't believe me. You told him? Well, what's the use of magic if no one knows about it? I told you never to betray your secret, never to abuse your power. You have to be alone if you want to achieve your heart's desire. Well, how do I get my heart's desire? I can't answer that, but you know, you know very well. Think. Think about the scarf. Think about using it. Go home, Gwydion Gwyn, and eat the food that's growing cold on your mum's table. Nine. Let's go home, Dower, Gwydion Gwyn. Sleep quiet. isn't it?
see. Loony. Plain loony. No, I saw the ship. Out of space it came. But spaceships don't have sails. You're my friend. Why don't you believe me? Because I'm cold and I want my breakfast. Now close that door! It's a perishing glass! OK, OK. So you don't believe me. But don't tell anyone. Promise? Promise. about well about those things you know the spaceship and that you don't believe and you told I know but I'm sorry I thought I wanted to talk you wanted to spread some more funny stories I suppose no honestly you can shove off just don't bother me again <laughs> you and Alan? Nothing. You're not sickening for something, you? No, Mum. Too good to go without for a change. Then what it's like to be really hungry.
wants it. What do you want? Uh, Ailis has come to live here in the village with Mr. and Mrs. Herbert for a while, till things get well, sorted out in her own home. We're all very pleased to have you in our class, Ailis. Aren't we, children? Yes, yes Mr. James. Uh, you'll find a space at the table at the back there. <laughs> <laughs> For today, You'll let her help you. How are you going to get home, Mirlis? I'll walk. But I'm coming home with you. You might need someone. All those bruises. You can have some tea before you go home. Quinn, your face! Oh, it's nothing. Just a bit of a fight. Let's have a look. Oh. Who's this? Her name's Adelis. She helped me and came up from the bus to see I was all right. That's kind of you, Adelis. I'll take your coat off and sit down by the table. Thank you. She's cold-blooded, isn't she, Dad? Her mum's dead, and she's staying with the Herberts for a while. Come to the fire, child, and warm yourself. When it's time, I'll take you home. Up 
we go. Get on it. That's not usually so. Serious business. Four children testify that they saw your Gwen throw a stone at our Dewey. Struck him on the nose, causing extensive bruising. I didn't throw a stone, Gwen. The point is, who is lying? Did anyone find the stone? Our Dewey's nose is proof enough. Is it very bad? Well, how bad do you think your nose would be if it was hit by a rock? First of all, it's a stone, now it's a rock. But Gwyn says he threw nothing. Well, the boys say. Say? What proof have you got that they're not lying? Maybe Dewey fell on his nose. Never. I believe my boy. He's frightened of that one, I can tell you. Oh, rubbish. He's twice Gwyn's size. And anyway, who beat Gwyn up, eh? If he hit Dewey, maybe a good cause to. There's two sides to this. He's not normal, that boy of yours. He's peculiar. Tell us funny stories. You ask any of the children. You ask Gavin Doyle what Gwyn told him. You ask any... Oh! Oh! Oh, something bit me. Have you got a dog? Well, he's in the barn. Well, there's a cat, then. Cat? He's over there. Isaac, I think we'd better go now. Oh, Something cat. pinched me. What? Oh! Cat? Oh. <laughs> Thanks for sticking up for me, Dad. That's all right. If you say you're innocent, that's good enough for me. Um, uh, that girl, Alice. Is she going to come and see us again? Well, she only came because I was hurt. Oh. Was that it? Well, if she does want to come again, um, I'll always take her home. I'll ask her if you like for Saturday. Hmm. This is a strange place. Not really. The septic tank is under there. Sheep graze here. They like it. The grass is rich. Roger. I wish you didn't have to go. Wait a minute. I've got an idea. Stay the night. Well, uh, why not? She was sleeping better than drunk. No, because that is the room just isn't ready. But the room is ready. The dolls are there, the bed's made, and everything's polished. No, it's my best room. But well, she isn't here, Mum. It's waiting for her. Glennis, the child is an orphan. You don't seem to care anymore. I <laughs> thought. Oh, that's not true. But look, since Alice it's is my here, my best friend's room. My daughter's, her bed, her dolls, her place. Glennis, why are you frightened? Is that little tea, now? No, it isn't. Beautiful you look. Alice. 
That's the word for snowdrop. So we have a snow flower in our midst. Nine? Mm. I saw a spaceship last night. Yes? On the mountaintop. It was a silver spaceship with children on it. Oh, Gwydion, Gwyn. You have nearly reached your heart's desire. Now, be very careful. Don't do anything foolish. Should I tell Aedlis about her young one? If you like. But I think she knows about her already. I haven't seen her young one for a couple of days. She must be hiding. Arianwan, come on. Idlis wants to meet you. I can't find my spider anywhere. You are the girl in the web, Idlis. Am I? Yes. I knew it all the time, but I couldn't see how. Like my sister, too. Where have you come from? Have you found the spider, Gwyn? No. I've looked in the drawer and under the bed, and I can't find her. Where can she have got to? I don't know. She's been gone before, but only for a day. I haven't seen her for nearly a week. Time to go, Alice. You must find the spider, Gwyn. She's precious. To make it possible for you to see whatever you want. And when I... When you what? I can't say. Not just yet. Too long. I need a deeper hem. Mum, mm -hmm. have you seen my spider? <laughs> I've seen too many spiders. No, I mean my particular spider. Well, I saw a sort of grey thing. A silver, you mean? Where was it? Oh, it was sitting on these curtains. When I started on them the other day, it gave me quite a turn, I can tell you. What did you do with it? Put it down the drain. Down the drain? Drowned it. Drowned it? That's right. You're right, Aunt Spiders. Why did you keep it so long running around the place? Cobwebs everywhere before we know where we are. Mum, I mean, you don't know what you've done. Where does the drain go to? To the septic tank, of course. No use looking there. Nothing could live in that stuff. Your spider's dead. You're afraid. You're afraid of Aedlis. You're afraid of the spider. Why? They never harmed you. They wouldn't harm you. Thank you. 
bring her back to me. Arianwen! Arianwen! You know. What was here, Gwydion Gwyn, you know very well. You know, and I know what you've done. You bad magician. What have I done? You let it go. You let it go. You mean the broken horse, don't you? OK, why don't you say so? Why don't you speak its name? My great-great-grandmother trusted me. I trusted you. You have failed your family, Gwydion Gwyn. No! Ariane went lost. Drowned. The horse was all I had to get her back. I had to get her back. It was told me to. Ariane went would have returned to you. She could never die. She belongs to you. You can get her whenever you want her if you really try. Well, I didn't know that. I didn't mean to let the horse go. The wind took it. What have I released? Something strong and dreadful. Well, how can I stop it? Only you can know that, Gwydion Gwyn, and I'm afraid for you, but somehow you must stop it. But I don't know what it is I'm looking for. Didn't you see it? It was here. Why did it do this to your room? Because I tried to stop it. When I heard that terrible noise and the birds stopped singing, then the hail battering and the trees trembling, I knew what you'd done. I went to my great-great-grandmother's books to try and find out how to stop it. And I burned leaves in a bowl with bones and berries, and I started to chant, but it knew what I was doing. And it came through that door, and it knocked me down. Why? It smashed the bowl, it put out the fire, it roared round the room, breaking everything in its way. And then it went. But didn't you see anything? Nothing. Nothing. It was in the wind. You must capture it again. And I can't. There's nothing to see. And if it can do this to your room... I mean...
I'll help you, Nate. No, no. No, leave this to me. They'll be needing you at home. Do this. It could do worse. I kept this safe for you anyway. I knew you'd need it. Quinn, where have you been? How could night? Have you seen Avis? The bus run. She left to come here two hours ago in the storm. Slipped out the house. But Mark, I found the lawyer's Alan saw in the lane. Right. Come in the house now. Your father find her. Where the license taken in. She's not dead, is she? No, unconscious. The cold, probably. No bones broken up. She's staying here, Glenis, in Bethan's room. You had better stay where you are for a day or two, young lady. Watch her. The pulse was so weak I could hardly feel it. It's almost as though no one is there. Sorry, Irles. My fault, Aidless. All my fault. Nine's room being broken up. The cat killed. You thrown down in the mud. No, it isn't, Gwen. Yes, it is. I gave something to the wind that I shouldn't have. An old broken horse. Nine said never to let it go. Never. But I did. You see, I wanted Ariane back. And it seemed to be the only way. Perhaps if you just stop this, this thing. Well, you need to know what it is, don't you? I mean, you need to find out what it's called. Well, it could be any name. There are millions of names. Could do all kinds of terrible things while we search for a name. Quinn, if you are Gwydion, the magician, the one from the legend, then maybe the horse is from the legend too. Yes. So what? Maybe something like a demon got trapped in the horse. Or someone real got trapped there by magic. Something evil, so it had to be locked up safe, away from the world. Well, it is very old, that horse. It could make sense. You told me about four of the gifts you got from Nine. But there was another, wasn't there? The scarf! to bring you back, Bethan, and it did. I'm not Bethan. I might have been Bethan once, but now I'm Ailis. I'll never be Bethan again. I've been out there. On the mountain? No, further than the mountain, further than the sky. How come? I find it hard to believe. Oh, please tell me. I wasn't frightened. The rain was shining in the torchlight. It was exciting. I had a feeling something was going to happen. Something I'd always wanted, but never understood. I thought I was going to die from cold or 
falling or the wet. And then I saw a light far away. I saw a sail and a silver ship like you did, and creatures dancing on it. I wanted to touch it. I wanted to be with them. And then they took me in. Who took you in? The children. Only they're not really children. They're quite old and very wise. Do they look like you now? Yes. You've never grown. They took me to another world. Yes. The place you saw in the web. Is it a good place? Oh yes. Then why did you come back? Because you called me. At first, your calls were very faint, but then when Nan gave you your gifts, your voice got so loud we couldn't ignore it. So we sent the spider because you wanted to see me. She was all we had. I saw you too, in the webs. You mean there are more spiders, and you use them like television? Our cobwebs are much more wonderful than television. Can I go to this place? You must find Ariane when. You're good, young Gwyn. But Nine said she'd come back to me. Maybe, but you must help her. You're a magician. I'm the two of you talking. Could you sleep, Alice? Brought you a cup of tea. Standing at the window, watching Quinn. I'm so glad you're here. Quinn, what were you up to? Playing out there on the ground. Are you mad? No, ma'am. Not mad. A magician. <gasps> I don't know. Sometimes I wonder if Mrs. Davis wasn't right about you. Abiyan went safe. I had to fight for her, but something tried to stop me. I saw what happened. You are a magician, Gwyn. I can read it. I couldn't before. Read it then. See if the broken horse is there. Oh, I don't know where to start. This horse is in the story of Princess Bramwen. It used to make me cry. Ah, here it is. Ugh, a V. It's terrible. Read it to me. I can't say the words. It's so awful. Read. Evnishan, Branwen's brother, came upon the King of Ireland's horses. Whose horses are these? he asked. They belong to the King of Ireland. He has come to marry your sister Branwen. Evnishan screamed. No one asked me. No one asked my consent. She shall not marry the King of Ireland. So, filled with rage and hatred, he cut off the horse's ears, their tails, their lips and their eyelids until they screamed with pain and no one could touch them. I told you it was terrible. We had to know. You were right, Aeolus. A demon was locked inside the broken horse. That mad prince for punishment. It was like all the horses in the legend. No ears, no tail. 
Nine tried to burn it once, but she couldn't. It couldn't be destroyed. She was given to the magicians to keep safe. Now you know who you have to catch. I might know his name, but I can't see him. How do I know where he is? You'll be on the mountain for sure. You'll be able to feel him. And you can take Ariane Wen to help you. The snow's getting really heavy now. It may be better wait a little while. There'll be a blizzard up on the mountain. I didn't wait. I have to go before something terrible happens. Tell Mum I've gone to see Nine. Do sorry, Anwen. Hey, the best. If they are true, and for it quest. With high ambition, I trust on sin. At her to know, at quit your queen. to see you. He seemed upset. I told him you were down with nine, but uh, he Where's said he'd he been. I think up the mountain. Why didn't I see him? You haven't been up the mountain in this weather. Now, Gwen, that was silly. He must have missed the track. The spell's begun. He'll be trapped, frozen. <laughs> That thing was out there with him as well. The spell. Oh, I wish I never started all this. Why didn't I say I'm a magician? He came looking for Ali. No news then. Has he come back yet, Glennis? No, I told you when you phoned, he called and then you. Where is he? He was his friend. He came to see you. I think he went up to the mountain. We went to look for him. That is, I called. He'll be gone for four hours. Is it going to be like when your sister went, never seen again? Oh, come on now. It's not Gwyn's fault. But whose fault is it then? He's not normal, that one, sending people out onto the mountain. I didn't send him. I wasn't here when he called. Come on, we're wasting time. A search party's called for you. Yeah. We're full of places. I've already done that. So we must be trapped. They'll never get through that wall of ice. Never. It's my fault making that spell to trap the thing. No. You made a terrible mistake when you used that horse. Now you have to try and put it right. The search party's back. But they haven't got Alan. Who could they? Nine. What must I do? Could you go in? Math? could turn men into eagles. If I could turn Alan into a bird, if I have the power, if I'm strong enough... You must make yourself strong enough. A white bird so that it can't be seen in the snow. Find something of Alan's to hold. Now, wish it. Wish it. Listen, 
to the voice of Gwydion Gwyn. Grugnach, rugnach, llasha'r lleisha'r. Helpwch alun i godi o'r ddeyar. Ymrithiwch ef yn wreith o derin. I hedfan ffriwch ben y penryn. That's very strange. I saw a net. No, not like a net, man. More like a frozen cloud. All I see it was. No, like a wall. Never known anything like it. Couldn't seem to get past like. Have a biscuit, Mr. Thomas. Diolch. Don't worry so much when we look again in the morning. Oh, I'll be too late by then. No. The cold is terrible up there. How can a boy live through such a night? The white bird must live. Did you hear that? Coming from the mountain. Was it the wind? No, not the wind. It's like a wild animal. Trapped. Alan, where's it been? Out there. Better get out of those wet things. I don't know. It was funny. I followed your footsteps. Then I got lost. The blizzard was thick. I thought I heard you call. I turned back, but there was a, a wall of ice. Then it got bright, and I found I was in a sort of cage with bars of ice all around. In a pattern. Like a... Like a... A cobweb? left was this. Poor man. You want so much to get out. But I can never, ever let you. You know all about it, don't you? All well, those things you said, they were true. Yes. It's your mum and dad. There's been a search party out. Were they worried? Gwyn, 
I nearly forgot with Mum and Dad come like that. I found this out there as well. Thanks, Sally. Bye. Thanks again, Alan. Right, happy Christmas. The Lord love it. Ta -da. the best Christmas we ever had. It reminds me of home. What about our Cavalli face? <laughs> no, yeah. I know. Another drink, children? Oh, yes. Come on, lads. There you are, Miss. Thank you. Yours is still full. It'll <laughs> soon be the new year. I have to go. Go? I have to go back to where I came from. Can't you stay a little bit longer? I only had until the new year. Were you happy there, where you came from? Oh, yes. Very happy. I'm only going to the mountain. all this, Aidless. No, I like it where I'm going. I'm cold. I think I'll go back. No, come a bit further. Keep me company. Please? In your hand, someone's scarf. Where's the girl? Gone. God. How is it with you, good young Gwyn? Very well, thank you, now. I've got the scarf and the seaweed back. Then everything is exactly as it should be. I'm not ever going. I know. I'm glad of that, Gwyn. Very glad. 
can have some tea with us, son. 